As wonderful a recreational amenity as they are, not everyone is lucky enough to live along or even near a rail trail. In that regard, I consider myself unusually fortunate. Over the past 30 years, the two towns I've lived in during that period both built and opened a rail trail while I was a resident. The first was Lexington, where in the early 1990s, the famed Minuteman Bikeway opened. I was riding my bike on it when it was still almost brand new. My legs were a little bit newer too. The trail is a little over 10 miles long, and it runs through three towns. This was built to be a commuter bikeway. In fact, one of the names that were being thought of for the Minuteman Bikeway was the Minuteman Commuter Highway. I think they got the name right. The Minuteman Bikeway has become one of the most highly used rail trails in America, and in 2008 was selected to the National Rails to Trails Conservancy's Hall of Fame. In 2002, my family and I moved to Holliston, Mass, where I was able to walk my dog over this 175-year-old eight-arch granite former railroad bridge. Today, I can bike over it, thanks to Holliston's 2017 opening of its six and a half mile section of the Five Town Upper Charles Rail Trail. Bridges, in fact, are a unique feature here. Over them, under them, back over them. You pass over the Arch Street Bridge here pretty quickly, so it's easy to miss its claim to fame. You are looking at the smallest stone railroad bridge in America. In Holliston, as elsewhere, what's now the town's most widely used amenity? once had plenty of opposition. I do know quite a few people who were opposed to the rail trail, who fought me tooth and nail, and you know, and, and I see them on the rail trail now, and it's a wonderful feeling, you know, to see them. <laughs> yep, I feel very lucky to have lived in communities that have embraced rail trails. Thing is, we're not all so lucky. Sure, new trails are being built all the time, and converting rails to trails should be as natural and no-brainer an occurrence as cleaning up a vacant lot and turning it into a playground because that's exactly what they are, recycling a dead and abandoned rail bed into a living and thriving linear park for everyone of all ages, backgrounds, and abilities. Some towns may still need more nudging, but they'll come around, and when they do, residents there will wonder how they ever opposed it in the first place. I know, I've seen it happen where I live, twice. Here's to that happening near you if it hasn't yet, and here's to embracing these bridges to the future.